welcome to the Astro Imaging Journey channel. Please enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. And before we move along, I wanted to show you the projects uh, portion of PixInsight. I was a little intimidated. However, following along with the Masters of PixInsight uh, workshops, uh, I was no longer intimidated by the projects. I was before, no longer there. It's very easy. As you can see here, we've got our RGB that we just created in the last step. And we can come down here to the File, ex uh, file Explorer. What happened to my history? It went away. Explorer Windows. History Explorer. There we go. So our RGB, we just created it. If I look at luminance, it's all right there. Shows that we had it. So now, if I go up to File, Save Project, we can give it a name. We, or if this is blank, we can open up. Let's say you were first time you're saving the project and let's say this one is uh, we'll just name that one test so it's brand new we'll save it put in your author and description if you so choose the rest of these are all defaults so I just leave them be and we click OK then after a short bit, you can see right here, it's writing the images, both the RGB that's in the current workspace, as well as the images we had in workspace number two. And here in a second, you'll see that it writes the process icons we're using as well. And there we go. So it wrote all the process icons, as well as a few other things. So we're good there. So now let's test out loading it. Let's make sure so if I move this here, will it be here? Will it be here? Will it be non-existent? Let's find out. So we close PixInsight. Yep, we're going to destroy all that nice work we just did. We're going to reopen PixInsight. Now we've got our blank canvas with PixInsight, nothing on our other workspaces. And we're going to come up to File, Load Project. There's our test project that we just created. Double click on it. So we're reading the images from that project. And there we go. Our file is up here, it wasn't down here, it's been restored. We've got our eight files over here in workspace two. And if we go to our file explorer or our history explorer, we can see that it retained the history of all those images. And that is awesome. I used to be intimidated, like I said, I'm no longer intimidated by it. it really allows for the ability to, you know, if you get to a point, maybe you got a storm running in the area and you're worried about the power going out, maybe you're on battery backup, but you're just not 100% sure. Save your project. That way, if you do lose power, hey, you can at least restore to where you were at shortly before you lost power or went on vacation or had to go to work or you know what other what other reason you may have to having to have to have stopped working on your image and, pro and processing it so yeah I just wanted to throw this out there real quick because it was a good point to do it and so let's move on to our background extractions in the next part. So with that, I want to say thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, clear skies and have a good one.
Thank you for watching yet another video from the Astrum and Junior channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video we've uploaded. In our lower right, we have what YouTube might think you would enjoy. And in the lower left is our subscription button. Please like this video, subscribe if you so choose. As always, clear skies, have a good one, and remember Duke.